With the help of this video animation, let's learn how a wastegate turbocharger exactly works. How a wastegate turbocharger works. So you might all know about the basic function of a turbocharger. It is to create a boost pressure or to increase the efficiency of an internal combustion engine. And in this video, we will be detailing about the function of a waste gate turbocharger. That means a turbocharger which has a waste gate valve. Primary function of a turbocharger is to provide a boost pressure. And the primary function of a waste gate on a turbocharger is to regulate the maximum boost pressure in the turbocharger system to protect the engine and the turbocharger from overload. Now let's uh, identify all the components of a wastegate turbocharger. So that's the compressor which is shown in the blue color. Then we have the turbine over there. That's the turbine in green. Then this is the wastegate valve over there. Then the swing valve control. The swing valve control actually uh, activates or uh, helps in the movement of the wastegate valve. Now let's identify all the ports coming on a wastegate turbocharger. So uh, this is uh, the port to the intake manifold. That means the compressed air from the compressor is passed to the intake manifold of the engine through this port. And that's uh, from the air cleaner. That means the atmospheric air coming uh, from the atmosphere is sucked through the air cleaner, then passes through the air filter. It filters, then it is uh, taken in towards the compressor and it gets compressed and it is passed to the uh, intake manifold so this is a port from the air cleaner okay and this is a port from the exhaust manifold that means the engine exhaust is moving towards the turbine through this port and now this is uh, to the muffler from the turbine uh, the air which is hitting the turbine passes to the muffler and then again moves back to the atmosphere through this port so uh, these are all the ports as you can see here now that's the compressor and uh, the turbine now let's see how a turbocharger normally functions so here you can see from the exhaust manifold of the engine that means when the uh, exhaust valve opens up the exhaust gas passes towards the exhaust manifold and it is rerouted towards the turbine in a turbocharger so here the exhaust gas comes and hits the turbine as it hits the turbine it results in the rotation of the turbine so now the turbine starts to rotate and you can see after that that air uh, exhaust air moves outside to the muffler and you can see that the turbine is connected using a shaft uh, towards the compressor this black shaft so when the turbine rotates this shaft also rotates at a very fast rate it's almost rotating at uh, 1 lakh 50 thousand uh, rpm so when this shaft rotates, it is mechanically linked with the compressor. So the compressor also rotates. So the compressor sucks the air from the air cleaner, compresses it, and passes it to the intake manifold. So here you can see uh, from the air cleaner, the air comes, the compressor. So the compressor is getting the drive from the turbine. So when the exhaust smoke comes and hits the turbine, the turbine rotates. It is mechanically linked through the shaft to the compressor. So the compressor gets the drive, then the compressor rotates, and the air which is sucked to the compressor gets compressed there, and it has been pushed into the intake manifold of the engine. So uh, the more compressed air moving into the intake manifold, that means you have more rich mixture uh, of air coming in, more oxygen is there. So the oxidizing agent, which is oxygen, the quantity of oxygen increases. So the engine will be capable of uh, burning more fuel. So when it burns more fuel, you'll get more power. So the turbocharger helps in increasing the power or increasing the efficiency of the engine by supplying more compressed air into the system so now you understand how a turbocharger works and now let's see in specific what's the role of a waste gate valve to brief about it a waste gate valve is used to maintain a suitable turbocharged pressure in order to prevent any excessive load on the engine by suppressing any turbocharging above the necessary level from the compressor that means 
a specified turbocharger and an engine it can hold a particular amount of compressed air and if more compressed air been given into the intake manifold this result in malfunction of the engine and it may reduce uh, the efficiency because more load will be coming onto the engine intake manifold to achieve this uh, to regulate the pressure the waste gate valve is installed in the exhaust circuit before the turbine so you can see here before the turbine uh, and the uh, exhaust manifold we have the waste gate valve over here you can see that's a waste gate valve and when the pressure near the compressor outlet port becomes higher that means the compressor compresses the air and it is going to the intake manifold so when the pressure at the compressor outlet port increases uh, above the set pressure so there's a valve at the compressor outlet port it opens up and it activates the swing valve control so there's a set pressure for the swing valve control so the swing valve control pushes the wastegate valve resulting in the wastegate valve to open so uh, let's see how it actually does this is the swing valve control which is connected to the wastegate valve and we are talking about a valve which is uh, fixed at the compressor outlet port which is towards the intake manifold so we'll see that here you can see this is uh, uh, to the intake manifold that area I am highlighted in uh, blue color so you can see that valve getting opened up so the pressure increases there and it exceeds above uh, the recommended set pressure so the valve at the compressor outlet port senses the pressure and as it senses that the pressure has gone beyond the recommended level which can uh, affect the efficiency or the performance of engine or the load of the engine is increasing this valve opens up you can see the valve opens up and as a result of that the excess, excess pressure is routed through this uh, hose and hits the swing valve control so here it hits the swing valve control activates the swing valve control resulting in the movement of the waste gate valve so you can see here clearly the waste gate valve is moving backwards creating an opening between the turbine and the exhaust manifold the exhaust gas coming from the exhaust manifold moves towards the turbine you can see here it moves towards the turbine and here it splits up into two because now we have the waste gate valve opened up here so when the waste gate valve was in a closed condition this smoke would have directly gone and hit the turbine and will rotate the turbine in its maximum efficiency with the highest pressure of the exhaust but here the pressure reduces as the exhaust smoke or the exhaust gas splits up and some of the exhaust gas move outside you can see like that through the waste gate valve and only half of it hits the turbine so the speed of the turbine gets reduced over here so the amount of exhaust smoke hitting the turbine reduces when the waste gate valve opens up resulting in the reduced speed of the turbine so the compressor speed also reduces resulting in less compression of the air so the pressure towards the intake manifold comes down towards the recommended set pressure so uh, you can see this reduces the speed of the turbine as the waste gate valve opens up and simultaneously the speed of the compressor also reduces and the pressure to intake manifold drops to the recommended level resulting in both the valves again to close so when the air pressure comes back to the normal or the recommended pressure the waste gate valve also closes back and the valve towards the intake manifold area which is coming near the compressor also closes and the normal function of the turbocharger resumes so this is how the waste gate valve actually uh, opens up and closes resulting in more efficient working of the turbocharger system we believe you guys understood the working of a waste gate turbocharger so we are ready to support you if you have any doubt please drop a comment or um, you can email us at uh, techtricksinfo at gmail.com please click the subscribe button so that more tutorial videos will come to your inbox so that you can learn watching them uh, our youtube channel is youtube.com oblique tech tricks info the right corner of the video you can see the link and our website is techtricksinfo.com towards the left corner of the video you can see the link and uh, for more videos please come back and visit us 
please click the subscribe button to get more tutorial video updates from us.